Another interesting tool or command to use with solids and shapes is the silhouette command. So let's go down here into my curve from object tool palette and demonstrate this real quick. I'm going to pick on my sphere again. Select silhouette. I was working in my top viewport so basically as you can see what happened looking straight on it creates a curve based on what it can see from that angle. The silhouette curve, as you can see from the front, is just a line. What about a more complex shape? Let's try a box. So I create my box, select, silhouette. In this case, it has decided that what it can see from the top viewport actually has more depth and since there's a second curve, a front and a back to the cube, so to speak, it actually created this, a system of curves here, or straight lines, rather. These line segments can actually be joined, as you can see. Now let's try it with a yet more complex shape. I'll create a revolving sort of shape. Service, revolve, create my axis, OK. So we have like a lamp post almost. If I select this in my top viewport once again, silhouette. Now let's see what happened. A lot more complex as you can see. Basically it's taking anything that it can see from that angle and it's using that depth. So it will copy the depth in terms of curves, but only perpendicular to the construction plane you're working with, which in this case, the top viewport vertical. So let's redo my basic shape. I'm going to delete my curve. What does it look like from here? The same shape from the front viewport, silhouette. Let's delete our basic shape and take a look. Interesting. Since this edge was a smooth curved edge on my original shape, as you can see, it's made kind of a dotted line. Now we can highlight all these curves. I'm going to remove my dotted line. Loft. we see an extremely complex shape. I'm going to rebuild this with 20 so that I can give you a good preview. And so this is a shape that we've done from the rebuilt silhouette curves.